Good morning. Good morning from Melbourne, Australia. Good evening to friends in North America and hello to anyone watching on replay. My name is Nancy Hetker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Melbourne, Australia. And today I am going to be playing for the first time with Calming Camellia. Let me get this out of here. It is a host stamp from Celebration. Um, let me bring in that page from the Celebration brochure. Um, and it is here um, in Australia. One needs to have a party or an individual order of $500 or more, and then you get this one automatically for free. Um, it's really, really pretty. Okay show you here again it's got it's a distinctive stamp set which means that it makes it um, very detailed and have a lot of um, realistic effect to it um, in the two images uh, my set is a little funny the, the label the packaging is in English and my stamp set is in English, uh, but the labels they sent me, I noticed when I was putting it together, um, my labels are actually in French. Um, so I'm waiting to see if they can get me the English labels. I've not put those on quite yet, but um, I'll be able to, to use the, the English sentiments here when I get to it. Um, and I think what I'm going to do today is do a version of um, what they're showing here in a sample, which is um, whitewashing. So you stamp the, the image, let's see what you can see, and then um, you're, I'm going to selectively color in the flowers um, with some white ink, which um, should make it kind of be neat and pop off the page. Um, I like they did it in soft succulent and evening evergreen in the catalog and I really like that but to do it a little bit differently today I brought in gorgeous grape and Highland Heather you could do this with any colors that work nicely together um, I want to just check something looking on theirs and they did do yeah I gotta keep it this size I may trim it up with a die at, towards the end there so let me put that aside and bring in the large camellia image and I'm gonna stamp it tone on tone so this is my Highland Heather ink Hello, Gladys and Roseanne and Paula. Thank you for joining me today. Um, and as I always say, when the stamp is that big, I think it's better to bring the pad to the stamp. This is the first time I'm stamping it, so I'm actually going to stamp on my grid paper and get a sense of how it stamps and inks. Yeah, that's nice. And my, my pad is not super juicy, which is good for these um, distinctive stamps. We want them to be um, it's got so much fine etching on it that if your stamp is really juicy, it's just going to fill up all of it and you won't you won't get a good image. It'll just How's this for a technical term? It'll just blort <laughs> and be ugly. Um, I'm gonna do that again from this side. And I'm not copying Stampin' Ups exactly because I wanted to get some of the little swirls in there so cute
Okay. Hi Lorraine, how are you today? And Annette, good morning. Nice to see you. Just clean off my stamp so nothing lands in them. Okay, so now I'm ready to start doing the whitewash. Um, and I'm just going to put a drop of my white reinker on an acrylic block. I could tap my pad on here, but I'm going to try this. And I saw that Stampin' Up! in the catalog there was using a blender pen to do this. So I'm going to try that. See how I like it. There's a reason we should use the pad. Let's see here. This seems to work better. It might work better because it's maybe a bit more blended in than... Yeah, it's a bit better doesn't take much you just really just coloring in the petals So what are you guys all up to? Paula, did you guys get hit with snow from the big storm the other day? I had so much going on here. I just was aware that there was a big storm and it wasn't going to impact my parents very much, and then I lost track of it. Yes, ice blocks off. We didn't actually have any right here. Um, and then I'm right by the Queen Vic Market and we got a lot of rain finally, but we didn't, I don't think we got any hail. Um, we have other times. But thank goodness it has both cooled off and dried out. I do not like that hot and humid. I grew up with that and didn't think anything of it. And I lived with it in Illinois for 10 plus years, but I like that we don't usually get like that here.
bomb cyclone. That's what I was trying to remember what they were calling it. They didn't call them that when I was growing up. How exciting is this for you guys watching me color? But it's, I think it's pretty neat, and I like the different variation in the amount of white. There's one or two more here. As it gets tough trying to tell what's supposed to be petal and what's supposed to be leaf. But there we go. I suppose if I make it white, it's petal. Yep. Do this side. Let that side dry up. The more I fill, the better it's looking. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry. We can always go back and do another layer if I think it's the thing to do. Yeah, exactly, Paul. We just called it snow. Sometimes we might say, oh, it's a blizzard. Mostly we were just happy it snowed and we got to stay home from school. Yeah, I like the look too. I And it's so easy. I mean, it's it's literally coloring in petals with white ink. That's all there is to it. because it does show some texture in the strokes. I am trying to be kind of consistent and do a set petal at a time. Um, but I like that it comes on sheer enough that you can see some of the detail of the stamping through it. Hold this up a little bit. 
closer here so you can see on the one that's been drying. There you go. You can see. It takes me a minute for my feed to catch up with what you're seeing. See, I can add a little more texture going back over. A little bit over here. Ooh, this makes me feel very much like an artist. I don't usually feel like an artist when I do this stuff. I feel like I'm making a hash of it. What do you think? Clean off my blender pen a little bit. that to dry for a minute I think and figure out its sentiment how about you make me smile This is a strip from cutting down my card base. And I'm going to emboss. Since I have the white out, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that instead of Versamark, since I'm going to emboss in white. Just in case something messes up, we'll just go ahead and stamp it again. And I will be right back after I heat and boss.
go. Uh, one more blast with the heat tool. There we go. Okay, I am going to see how I do with cutting out today. <laughs> and that that's great you'll have to post a picture of what you make Not happy with how that is there. Let me. Try again here. That's why sometimes I go ahead and make two of them. Especially if I know I'm on a strip that I'm not going to do anything else with. It's easier just to go ahead and make two at once. that better so Annette where in the Melbourne area are you located Okay. Yeah, I'm always embarrassed because I because I don't drive. I very and we've spent two years, almost, locked down. I do very little getting out of the immediate CBD inner north area, so I'm not a hundred percent certain where that is. I am so embarrassed. Okay, so. I'm thinking. I want to 
to do that or not. Yeah, let's give it a try. I can always make another card. I'll be right back. show you what I did. So I took the die and I attempted to line it up in the middle and evenly. It didn't work in the end, I don't think. Anyway, I used some washi tape to hold it down. Let's see how evenly it came out. Oh. Came out evenly. Unfortunately, it left that little groove there. Hmm. Okay, let's get that out of the way. <laughs> now the question is. question is, do we or don't we add some ribbon on there? Let's see what we got. I wish this one were still current. I think that's just too much. Oh, I really want to like this stuff, but it is so staticky and so crinkly. Mostly it said it's so staticky. <laughs> it makes me crazy. It's nice and soft, which is a good thing. Remember I said how humid it's been and I'm glad it's dried out, but it's not that dry and it's still so staticky. It's not like it's the middle of winter and dry, dry, dry or anything. Okay, 
let's see how that goes. If I can get it off my hand to do other stuff. Oh, Annette, you're trying to be helpful. But <laughs> So I'm basically trying to cover up where the die left its mark. Oh, that just totally takes away from what I'm trying to do. I think, anyway. Hey, Renata. Okay. I'm gonna like that better, I think. Of course, I'm on camera. I'm gonna be out of blue. Take a little bit of your pearls or the mat. Ah.
Yeah, I like it better without the ribbon too. What do you think, pearls or matte dots? I've got some iridescent rhinestones. Oh, pearls. Okay. That seemed to be unanimous. I'm not quite sure what you meant by the top ones, Annette, so if I've picked the wrong ones for you, I'm sorry. Y'all know I struggle with this. Yeah, it does have a little bit of a Victorian feel. Okay, so there's five of them on there. And pull out. This is one of the new slimline envelopes, and it's got that neat bit in there. decide if I should sure why not right live it up Shelly Gardner would be so happy. No naked envelopes. There you go. What do you think? That's what I have for you today. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, I still think no ribbon.
Okay. Thank you guys. I will see you again, same time, same place next week. Um, yeah, Annette, I would love if you shared um, a picture of your creation in the comments on this video. Um, I don't care that you use non-stampin' up stuff. I love to see what people make. And yeah, I will see you same time, same place next week. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.